Hello everyone, it's Miss Clark. Um, this is for your Tuesday maths lesson, which is going to be on arrays. Okay, now this is something new again, and it's going to help us. We're going to use it with our multiplication. Okay, so so far we've done counting in twos. Now we use arrays to help us count things more efficiently, more quickly. Okay, so a bit quicker. So when we sort things into arrays, we can see I've got two groups of smiley faces here. I'm going to show you the two ways we sort them. One way is we sort our objects into rows, okay? Now, as you can see, I'm circling them across. So a row is when we count them going across, okay? So rows go that way. So that is a row. Let's write that down there. They are rows, okay? Now, the other way we can do it is to count them in columns, so let's sort these into columns. So columns, as we can see, is when they are going down. Okay, so let's pop that word in there. So we've got three new words there today. We've got sorting them into arrays, and we can either sort them into rows or columns. Okay, so rows going across, columns going down. Now, on the next page, I'm gonna show you some stars, and I want you just to take a minute and just count the stars for me. Okay, I bet most of you, when you counted that, you would have done this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's absolutely fine, but now we know how to count in twos, we can do that even quicker. So for these stars, I'm gonna sort them into rows, and we can see here the row is going across. And because we know we're counting in twos, we're going to put them in rows of two. So we've got two in that row, two in this row, and two in this row. So let's just count our rows. We've, oops, sit on the highlight. Oh, we'll just leave it. One row, two row, and three rows. One, two, three rows of two. And now we know how to count in two. We can use that to help us count them quicker. So we've got two, four, six, six stars. So if we sorted them like this, we can just go two, four, six, six stars. So three rows of two equals six stars altogether. Okay, right, let's have a look at the next page. Right, count these chocolate bars for me. Did you have to count them one by one again? Okay, let's sort them. So we can do it even quicker using our counting in twos. Now this time, on the last one, we've done rows across. So this time, let's do columns, which as we can see with the arrow there, is when they go down. So we're gonna have a column of two, column of two, column of two, and a column of two. Ooh, making me hungry looking at these chocolate bars. And last one. Okay, so let's have a look at our columns. Let's count our columns. So we've got one column of two, two columns of two, three columns of two, four columns of two, and five columns of two. So we've got five lots of two. Now let's use our counting in twos now to count how many we have all together. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. So in five columns of two, we have got ten. Now you could use as well your repeated addition that you done yesterday. So let's do our repeated addition. Two plus two plus two plus two Oh, sorry about my numbers here. They're not looking very good, are they? Plus two. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. So it equals ten. So Miss Hennessy and I, today, what we'd want you to do is grab a load of objects in your house. It could be the socks, the pasta. You could get a big handful of Lego. You might get a big handful of your pencils, pens, and plop them all in a big pile on the floor. Have a go at sorting them into either rows, we'll have a go at rows, and then have a go at columns of two, and then you can see how much quicker you can count them.
okay and we look forward to seeing what you come up with all right have fun with it and look forward to seeing what you come up with all right then bye everyone